What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen Woodhouse, and Check today. Now. <laughs> no. Okay, let's do this again. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen Woodhouse.com. <laughs> sorry. And my husband Adam is going to show you how. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we installed a ceiling fan. And <laughs> so. I have a little helper with me today, and he's going to show you how he installed the ceiling fan. You want to take it away? Yes, dear. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do with a project like this is make sure that you cut the power off to the light fixture at the breaker. If you're uncomfortable working with wiring and electricity, uh, you can contact a local licensed bonded electrician to come and do the work. It's about a 15 minute job for them, uh, or it can be a 20 minute job for you as you learn how to do it. It's really simple. The first thing we did here was disassemble and remove the existing light fixture. As we did that, we took note of which wires from the house wiring were being used to actually power the light. Now most house wiring, you're going to see four wires coming out of the main line. There's a white one, a black one, a red one, and a ground wire. The ground wire is a copper wire that doesn't have any shielding around it. For the excess wire, you typically will see that with a wire nut on it, taped off, just keeping it out of the way, and that's fine. So once we've identified which wires are currently powering the, the light or ceiling fan that's installed. We're gonna make note of those, you know, black to black, white to white, or are they using the red wire? I don't know, you gotta look in, inside and see what's going on. So we removed the existing light fixture, taking note of which wire was used for the positive wire, which light wire was used for the negative wire. Some houses will use the black wire coming out of the main line, some will use the red wire. We removed the existing light fixture. Jen wanted to dress up this mount a little bit, so she added a decorative ring. Super simple, we just added a little bit of liquid nails or caulk to the back of it pressed it up and allowed it to do its job and hold it in place. Then we took the mounting bracket for this particular fan and placed it into the electric junction box mounting holes. Once it was up there enough to hold the weight of the fan, we placed the fan into the mounting bracket so that it was held in place and we weren't trying to fight holding it while we're wiring. And then we simply wired the control box to the fan and the house wiring to the control box. Once that was done, we used wire nuts to cover the hard wiring and taped over top of those to hold them securely in place and ensure that there was no bare wires anywhere. Then we simply took the fan bell and pressed it up covering that space so you don't see the mounting bracket and the control box and all the wires and then slid over the, the decorative cover ring that covers the actual screws holding all of that stuff into place. Super simple, doesn't take a long time, easy to do. The end result, we have a light fixture and a ceiling fan all in one. We like this ceiling fan because it keeps the blades enclosed and we, we got three of these things because we've got littles and we did bunk beds. We went ahead and used this one in the guest room so that we could have a remote controlled light and fan. We love it, it looks great. Thanks for watching. So if you're interested in replacing an existing light fixture or ceiling fan with something new, we would always encourage you to take a swing and give it a try. But before you do, check and see if it's gonna avoid your homeowner's insurance policy. Check with a licensed bonded electrician if you're not sure what you're doing. Somebody to give you that professional look. Have fun, stay safe, we'll see you next time. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Like, share, all the good stuff, and visit jenwoodhouse.com for more information. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, <laughs>